Oh my, my, my. My, my, my. Hello, friends. The other day, we made our fateful return to a channel that we haven't watched in several months. And that channel is none other than legendary animation studio, My Story Animated, otherwise known as MSA. And I absolutely love watching MSA. So I think it needs to be back in my life more regularly. <laughs> Yeah, that's right, people. We back. We back with more MSP. This is too fun. It's too fun. This is part of my lifeblood. I've been doing this since 2020. This playlist is like 45 videos long. Why stop a good thing? Homies, if you are on board with the return of My Story Animated, boop that like button. Let me know. Boop the like button. It's the only way. And if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, let's, let's get that out of the way. Let's get it out of the way. Boop the subscribe button. Make sure you're subscribed to My Story Animated and let's do it today. My dad hired a bodyguard for me. Well, Robert, I thought you were going to stop doing that stupid voice, but regardless, that seems like a crazy video. Yes, I agree, Kermit. Now you can be gone for the rest of the video now. Thank you. This is MSA's most viewed video for the last month, so apparently we have a slapper on our hands. Are you ready? I can't hear you. Because I'm ready. You know what it is. Robert IDK, MSA, theme song. Animations, animations. It kind of feels like I'm on vacation. When I see a bit from MSA about a girl who's gone completely insane. But we'll still laugh and scream and cry and be glad that we don't have their lives. So come along, enjoy the ride, and let's watch some MSA tonight. Wow, wow, wow. More of a slapper every time I hear it. My dad hired a bodyguard for me. Three, two, one. Do you have any idea how much effort it took me so Charlie would finally look my way? I had to wake up extra early, curl my hair, wear makeup, pick out the best outfits, and wear heels to school every freaking day. Sweetheart, We've all you been should there. never have to change yourself for anyone to love you. That's a lie ugly people made up. Besides, boys like Charlie deserve a little effort. Oh my God. Are they starting their videos with a flash forward or a flashback these days? Usually when I click on these videos, I expect, Hi, I'm Rachel from Nevada <laughs> and my family is seriously crazy. That's what I was expecting, but it's hard to commentate over a conversation that's halfway through. But anyways, let's go. Besides, boys like Charlie deserve a little effort. Boys like Charlie deserve to get their butt kicked. Vandalizing school property, oh. cheating in exams, oh. answering back to teachers. Have you met our teachers? They're so rude and obnoxious. And this school is so old, it's already falling apart. At least they're renovating now, thanks to Charlie. Oh, now that's just dumb. No, Mom. Dragging your adult daughter out of a party in front of her friends is dumb. They all think I'm a loser now, especially Charlie. Nonsense. Listen, Tara, I don't want you to fall in trouble because of that butt face Charlie. That butt face Charlie. You seen his face? It looks like a butt. How am I supposed to comment? I, these people are having a heated argument that only two people who have known each other their entire lives can have. How on earth am I just supposed to inject with smart aleck remarks? If you start me in the middle, don't start me in the middle. Because of that butt face, Charlie, he's not the right guy for you. And how do you know that? Because I fell for a guy like him, uh. and it almost ruined my life. Sit down. There's something you Wait, need to know. Wait, is she the Hi, I'm Sandy. No I have way! The crazy what? Story to tell you. What? Oh my gosh! Curve ball MSA. Yo, they just barzoopled my brain. If I was in the Big Bang Theory, I would say. Barzoople. I think this is the first time an MSA video has started. Like, this is a flashback now. This is crazy. It, this is the mom's story. That's crazy. So I didn't have to join team spoiled daughter because that seemed like a very spoiled daughter. We're on team mom. Hashtag team mom. Not team mom. Team mom. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sandy, and I have the craziest story to tell you. But first, like and subscribe to MSA. Dad yeah. had a million dollar business. We lived in a mansion and life was pretty much perfect. Like in every MSA video. Mom left dad for another man and dad couldn't take the betrayal. Dad was just getting over the shock when a month later, his business partner cheated him. No! He lost a ton of money. And after that, dad just couldn't trust anyone. The new neighbor gives me the creeps. I think he's after my mansion. He's almost 85 years old. Man, that dad, that dad was cheated on. He got cheated by his business partner. Homies, don't let this guy know about Cheetos. 
I think he's after my mansion. He's almost 85 years old. The only thing he's after is getting is through another hug. day without dying. But Dad got More paranoid, baby. hired a bunch of security guards, and installed over a dozen cameras oh around my the goodness, house. Dad. By the time I turned 17, Dad's paranoia hit an all-time high. I wasn't allowed to go out with my friends, for <sighs> movies, or stay beyond a particular hour. Okay, so, okay, word of advice to any multi-millionaires who live in giant mansions who deal with anxiety. Don't live in a giant mansion. Oh! That will help. Trust me, being a giant house where everyone is constantly looking at your, your house as they walk or drive by it. Yeah, that's not the place you want to live if you're a paranoid person. Listen, I don't care if you've got enough money to afford it. You don't need to live in a giant house if you have a lot of money. You, you straight up just don't. You will be a lot safer just living more low key, my G. I wasn't allowed to go out with my friends for movies Cringe. or stay beyond a particular hour. I was miserable. And then a year later, I met Fred. Oh my His dad word. was really rich, so you might think Freddy would be sophisticated and classy, but he was completely opposite. Freddy got a silver Cadillac for his birthday, oh but gosh. he hated the color, oh my God. so he crashed it on purpose. I would That's do the same thing. thing. Freddy's dad got married a couple of months back, and he spiked the food with earthworms. Let's just say that his dad would not what be throwing a party anytime soon. He was your typical rich bad boy, and for some reason, I had the biggest crush on him. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we were off to a good start. Your dad was the weird one, and your daughter from the future was the bad one. We were on your team, and now you tell us this, that you have a crush on this dingus. Sandy. Sandy. I look a little sandy right now. I'm gonna keep it real. I look like I should be on the beach right now, getting real sandy. But no, this is just every day, bro, with that sandy shirt flow. Nine mil on YouTube in a month and a half. Views. Uh, never. Definitely been done before. And for some reason, I had the biggest crush on him. Oh, the man. next day in class, he was assigned my lab <gasps> partner, and it was Ooh. the most distracted I'd ever been. I kept knocking tumblers together, dropping chemicals everywhere. At one oh, point, you I was did. reaching for my books, and our hands brushed against each other, and I felt my cheeks on fire. <sighs> After the class was over, I tried running from the room as fast as I could, but I tripped over something invisible and would have fallen on my face if Freddy didn't catch me. Are you always this clumsy? <laughs> I see you around here a lot. You seem like kind of cool. <laughs> Aside from your clumsiness, I'm Freddy. And just like that, I was in love with him and I'm gonna let him ruin my life. But I tripped over something invisible and would have fallen on my face if Freddy didn't catch me. Are you always this clumsy or do I have a special effect on you? Oh my kind gosh. Of both, actually. Freddy gave me a smirk and offered to walk me out. We ended up having lunch together, and after that day, we just got closer. Soon wow. after, Freddy and I started dating. That was easy. Was that was class. easy. I snuck out every night and went to the craziest parties, fancy nightclubs, and the most exclusive restaurants where I met all of Freddy's friends, each one richer than the next. Oh, man. When people's friends are, like, I, that honestly sounds pretty exhausting. How can you sneak out every night? You you know you can't not ever sleep, right? If you sneak out every night and then have to wake up for school three hours later or whatever, you gon' die. You gon' die, Sandy. And that was when I died. Then I came back to life so I could tell you this story. I was having the time of my life, and what made it better was that Freddy was an absolute sweetheart. What? I talked to him about everything, and we had so much in common. My dad has never paid any attention until I ruined his wedding. Maybe because the snake he married asked him to keep an eye on me. At least you still have your freedom. I feel like a prisoner in my own house. A prisoner? You sneak out every night! How can you be a prisoner if you literally escape every single day? It sounds like the worst run prison of all time. I'm such a prisoner, it's like I can't go anywhere except every single day. Dingus. I feel like a prisoner in my own house. Then one night, Freddy booked an entire amusement park for me. We were stuffing our faces with hot dogs, laughing and chatting, till my dad's guards tackled Freddy to the ground yeah. with dad They just right next now to found them. Freddy? What are you doing here? And how did you find me? The guard saw you sneaking out and followed you. What were you thinking, Finally. Sandy? Sneaking out with some guy like that? <clears throat> Excuse me, sir, but I'm not just some guy. I'm My name Freddy. is Freddy, and I come from a very respectable family. If you, oh, you could be the me, king sir. of Egypt for all I care. But for me, you're the lowlife who sneaked out my daughter. Who what were your intentions out? with her? Kidnapping? Stop. 
Stop it, Dad. You're embarrassing me. Stop it, Dad. We've only been doing this every night for like three months now. Why would you be mad? I'll tell you why that dad should be mad. Those bodyguards just now found them sneaking out. He's had like eight bodyguards or whatever they showed on screen this whole time and security cameras and they didn't catch her sneaking out. How? Was there an invisibility cloak they talked about earlier that I missed? Did I miss that? I must have missed that. Sorry, MSA. Stop it, Dad. You're embarrassing me. Don't tell me what to do and march your butt before I send this March to your butt. I had no intention of doing what Dad said, but I did it anyway to avoid more chaos. And after that day, Dad and I hardly spoke to each other. <laughs> like father, like daughter. You don't oh. know what your pop oh, is like, Oh, oh okay? my gosh, he flash forward. Crazy. I'm nothing like him. So you think, Mom. Are you done being sarcastic? Not even close. Anyway... Dad grounded me and took what away my phone. What on privileges. earth? That's crazy. To to took away my phone. Okay, guys. <laughs> Unfortunately, we are currently dealing with a uh, timeline crisis here. The only way that Sandy's story makes sense of her phone getting taken away in high school and now she has like a 17-year-old daughter is if the other story is in the future. This has to be the present and her telling her daughter is in the future. That's the only way this makes sense. You would have been in high school. This would have been 20 years ago at least. If she has a 17-year-old daughter now, this likely was at least... 20 years ago that she was in literal high school if she had a phone this other thing is in the future I took away my phone privileges i wasn't allowed to go to school without a bodyguard following me around and it was getting and he, he was the one with the worst the facial hair and i couldn't hang out anymore so we started sneaking around in school actually i was surprised he was still interested in me after the way my dad treated him you understand me better than anyone else. I can't let you go because your dad's a psycho. I swear, if you I can. wasn't trying so hard you to get into to. my dad's good books for that private jet I want, I would have kidnapped your dad and shipped him off to Hawaii. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. Threatening kidnapping my father and telling me that you only have a good relationship for your dad so you can get a private jet. <gasps> Sir, that's the most beautiful thing anyone has ever said to me. I swear <laughs> if she even remotely says something like that, I'm, I'm no longer on Team Sand. I can't support it. Shipped him off to Hawaii. Oh my god. Okay, okay. I won't ship him to Hawaii. Please don't cry. That's not why I'm crying, dummy. I just realized I'm- Oh my, my gosh! Freddy pulled no! me closer. Before he could kiss me, the Sandy, janitor burst open done. the door and started screaming. Before Freddy and I could even react, he rushed to the principal's office and told Miss Everclear that Miss Freddy and Everclear. I were making out in the closet. The principal was furious and called her parents. Oh no, not the parents! Not the parents! Oh no, guys. This is the one thing they didn't want to happen. Their one kryptonite. The evil that trumps all evils. Parents! They just can't handle it. Some people can't handle the parents. It's very sad. Guys, growing up, you know, maybe break a couple rules here and there. But try not to break too many rules. If you have to be terrified of your parents, you're probably breaking too many rules. Or maybe your parents are a little... You probably no. You're probably breaking a few too many rules. The principal was furious and called her parents. Freddie's folks didn't show up, but my dad did, and I was shaking in my boots. Yeah. My butt was about to get grounded for life. Freddie is. Oh, well, you can sneak out anyway, so clearly that doesn't Sandy, work. You're a good student. Your teacher tells me you've been skipping a lot of classes lately, and now this. But we were just talking in the janitor's just closet. Talking. Please and don't question my intelligence, closet. Sandy. I'm afraid we'll have to suspend you both for a week. All right. It's good to know that the principal was focusing on some very uh, deep, hard work before this happened. It's a very good thing that we have such a responsible principal who only spends their free time focusing on the most important things. Thank you, Mrs. Everclear. You are what you drink, I guess. Please don't question my intelligence, Sandy. I'm afraid we'll have to suspend you both for a week. <gasps> Sir, if you will be kind enough. But Dad was only half listening. His oh, no. Oh, no, Dad. I'd never seen him this dumbfounded. Miss Everclear handed him my suspension letter, and I was fully prepared for Dad to give me an earful. But he simply turned around and left with a stupid oh. smile on his face. Oh, uh, Sandy, I'm very upset with you. Um, in order to make your education better, I'm going to go and see Mrs. Everclear every day uh, to see what we can do about something for you. I'm just going to go out on dates with Mrs. Everclear. With a stupid smile on his face, I followed Dad outside, but just then, Freddie pulled me to the side. Did you see that? Totally. Miss Everclear is 
freakishly obsessed with cats. I she agree. has some 10,000 pictures of them. Yes. I'm talking about your dad. Your he dad. He has a crush on Miss Everclear. Ew, no. Disgusting, Freddie. He's just stressed Freddy. at work. No, I'm a man, and I know how a man reacts when he's in love. Your dad likes Miss Everclear, and this might be the end of all our problems. I don't wow. see your point. Don't you get it? If your dad has a relationship of his own, then he'd probably be too busy to butt into our lives, and we can do whatever we like. Scum bags. Scum. Uh, there's zero part of them that's like, oh, my dad is happy. My dad like is like has positive feelings for someone. He's happy. That's great. There's no part of them that is thinking that. The whole thing is, how can we manipulate this to use it to our advantage? You terrible people. Here we are. Here we are back in the trenches of MSA where every character is a complete bad person. I don't see your point. Don't you get it? If your dad has a relationship of his own, then he'd probably be too busy to butt into our lives and we can do whatever we like. You think that'll work? Absolutely. Love makes you blind. This would be perfect. For the next few days, Freddie and I followed Miss Everclear around like a shadow. We found out that she was staying in a dingy two-bedroom house, loved eating frozen pasta, and was dating some wannabe Italian painter. Freddie's plan was simple. Take Miss Everclear's boyfriend out oh, of the picture no. and oh, replace no. him with dad. We should hire a bunch of thugs to annoy Miss Everclear, and your dad can swoop in like a hero and save her. I know someone who might help. Why do? Absolutely not. It's too dangerous. I can hack into your dad's social media and slide into Miss Everclear's DMs. Bet that'll work. Yeah, okay. Firstly, Freddy, the only reason that works for you is because you are extremely rich. You can't just slide into a person's DMs and they're interested in you all of a sudden. That is not how that works, Freddy. Completely jaded, insane person who has never lived like a normal human being in his life. Everything is how can we take this and use it to our advantage. They're the worst. I'm, guys, I'm just going to be talking smack about them for the rest of the video. Just so you know, if they keep this up, I'm just going to be talking that smack. And slide into Miss Everclear's DMs. Bet that'll work. Okay, firstly, Dad doesn't have a social media account because he's afraid someone might invade his privacy. Fair. And secondly, I don't want to go to jail. Stop shooting down all my ideas. They're so good. Then suggest something good. We were running out of options when one afternoon, Freddie and I were waiting outside Miss Everclear's house and saw her boyfriend hop his way okay, to her home. Okay. And that's when the most brilliant idea hit me. I told Freddie and he immediately agreed. He jumped out of the car and rushed toward Miss Everclear's boyfriend. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Do you mind telling me where the aquarium is? I'm lost. Excuse me. I'm late to meet my pretty girlfriend. What? Suddenly, Freddie hugged Miss Everclear's boyfriend and started crying like a little boy. Please, oh please, sir. I'm very sentimental about fish. My mom worked as a mermaid in an aquarium once, but then she grew older and quit. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a dingus. We have a dingus. Okay, it, just when I thought we were gonna have one character to root for, the guy's like, I'm here to see my pretty girlfriend. Oh la la. I'm late to meet my pretty girlfriend. What? <laughs> Bro, have some class. I mean, he's wearing, he's rocking some good suspenders, but that's about all he's got. I don't care about it, your mustache, bro. But then she grew older and quit. I wanted to become just like her, but you know our society frowns upon boys who become mermaids. Yeah, we do, unfortunately. Unfortunately, it's not sad. the really. Just take me to the aquarium, please. I don't want to miss the mermaid show. That would ben, be so ben, sad. Come with me. The aquarium was close, so Freddie and Miss Everclear's boyfriend decided to walk down. Freddie distracted Miss Everclear's boyfriend with his sob story about a mermaid mom, while I tiptoed behind him and smeared my lipstick all over his T-shirt. Sorry, they were what out of tissues. On Thank you. Earth. Bye. <laughs> Saying that, I rushed outside at the speed of light, and soon after, Freddy followed. What he on the earth? Tree close to Miss Everclear's house, and watched her lose her mind over the lipstick-stained T-shirt. And then she kicked her poor boyfriend out of the house. I just can't help but feeling like there could have been a better option. I just can't help but feel that, that there is a better way to go about this. How is that the most convenient way to make that happen? And then she kicked her poor boyfriend out of the house. The next thing we needed to do was to make dad meet Miss Everclear again. Freddie's okay. uncle was having a fundraiser and he invited both dad and Miss Everclear. They were mm. chatting and having a great time until Miss Everclear's boyfriend showed up. Why is he I there? I cheat on you. It was just some stupid girl who messed up my shirt. Believe me, my pretty, pretty baby. Get off me, you liar. I hate you. I hate your accent. 
hate that stupid thing you call art. Oh Leave my and gosh. Never come back. Okay. Yeah. Again. Again. Every time there's like, okay, this character hasn't proven to be a jerk yet. Let's root for them for a second. Every time we think we can do that, they prove us wrong very quickly. This Everclear also stinks. But Robert, she thought he was cheating. But it doesn't matter. You like a you you probably need a better reason to be certain, especially if the person like put in all this effort to say they weren't doing it. And secondly, you don't have to insult the way they talk and their whole livelihood and their work and their passion. You don't need to do that. You don't need to do all that. Yeah, Ms. Everclear. Wait, oh yeah, no, I didn't like her because of the dumbness before. Yeah, she's dumb. They're all dumb. Leave and never come back. Or I'll ask my new boyfriend to kick your butt. <clears throat> I'm your boyfriend? Oh my gosh. Of course, sweetie. Now let's have some fruit punch. Miss Everclear's boyfriend wept like a little boy, but oh she ignored him and left. Soon after, Dad and Miss Everclear started dating officially, and as expected, Dad was totally out of my hair. Freddie and I were going out again <sighs> for parties, movies, and date oh, nights, and life no. was perfect. Except, Miss Everclear's boyfriend was as obsessed as ever and kept showing up at her house asking for forgiveness. When I told this to Freddie, he looked concerned. We need to do something about this guy before he ruins everything. What if he convinces Miss Everclear to patch things up with him? He's already suffering, Freddy. What more can we do? I just cannot help but feel like there is a better way to go about this situation. You don't at all need to be involved in that situation with your dad. You literally don't have to in any way be involved with that. But this story has many many layers. Like an ogre! He's already suffering, Freddy. What more can we do? Leave that to me. Freddy made a phone call and- Freddy pulled out the Draco and said, I'll take Everclear's care of this! Boyfriend's address. We drove to his place and parked the car across the street. Freddy and I tiptoed our way to the back of the mansion, and Freddy picked up a rock. I don't like this. It's illegal. No, no sir. Illegal. What's happening to us is illegal. We are young. We should be able to live our life the way we want to. Now, I'm going in and seeing if there's anything we can use against this guy so he never bothers us again. Are you with me? It's a stupid idea. You always say that. Freddy was about to throw the Word. rock at the window and they when are I asked stupid him to wait, ideas, pulled so out a bobby pin fair. and open the back door. What? I was bored at home, and the internet is a huge place. Come on, now. We went inside the house and started searching for clues. There was nothing out of the ordinary. Disappointed, Freddy and I decided to leave when suddenly we heard a car pull up in the driveway. We darted across Let's the living go. room, panicked, and accidentally tipped Fight over a scene. candle. The curtain would have caught fire, but Freddy was quick to put it out. We jumped through Good one of job, the windows Freddy. without anyone noticing and were standing across the street when suddenly we heard a sound and the house blew up in Whoa! flames. The fire brigade was there in minutes. Of course the fire brigade is there in minutes. You're in a rich neighborhood. I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe uh, the odds of, of that to happen, so... Uh, I honestly, I don't have any idea what they're trying to do right now. I don't know if I missed something, or if I'm just supposed to follow along with this, and we find out as we go. We heard a sound, and the house blew up in flames! The fire brigade was there in minutes, and Miss Everclear's boyfriend was safe, but the house was what toast. On? Freddy wait. drove us off before someone noticed wait. us. Wait! Were they trying to done? blow him don't up? Panic. Everything's under oh, wait, control. Wait, no, no, wait, no, 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 the explosion was an accident. Right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Whew. I'm glad. Could you imagine if the main characters in an MSA video tried to blow someone up? That would be some 2020 MSA. <laughs> really, it would be. I'm glad that that was a uh, just a ter a terrible misunderstanding. Oh my God! What have I done? Don't panic. Everything's under control. Under control? We literally burned someone's house down. Yeah. We've got to come clean, Freddy. Yep. Are you barking mad? You want us to go to jail? I've been trying so hard to stay clean, and I am not stay letting clean. one mistake ruin it all. It's not a mistake. It's a crime. Think about this, Sandy. If your dad finds out that we were behind the fire, he'll also know that we were the ones who set him up with Miss Everclear, and he will oh, yeah. probably ground you for life. And my dad would ship me off to a boarding school, and you he'll should never be in a boarding school. private jet. This has to be our secret. I thought about about it, and maybe Freddy was right. If I told Dad that I broke into someone's house and burned it down, he would lock me up and never let me go. I had no choice but to keep my mouth zipped. So, you're a thief, a liar, a manipulator, yep, yep. anything go else in, I forgot sis. to add to the list? Go yes, in. your mother. So you better not get carried away. 
So breaking and entering a house to collect evidence so you can hook your dad up with your teacher is not getting carried away? Go in, sis. Get her. Get her. Okay, so I don't even remember what the daughter did that was stupid at the beginning of this. So now I'm on team daughter because... Wait, we were team mom early. Hashtag, okay, now, now it's hashtag team daughter. You don't need to edit your comments from before. Just post a new one, okay? You don't need to... Don't delete the previous one. Let this just be a W for MSA for doing the old switcherino on us. Good job. Whatever. Anyway, for the next few days, Freddie and I lay low. The news about a house burning down in flames was all over the television, and they were still Sad. looking for culprits. Sad. Thankfully, all the CCTV footage was burnt in the accident, too, so there was no proof against me and Freddie. But I just couldn't shake off the guilt. To top it off, Miss Everclear got a restraining order against her ex-boyfriend, oh, moved in man. with Dad, and became a total pain in oh, my butt. Man. She went on shopping sprees, got a makeover, quit her job, and laid on the couch all day, passing orders. Uh, Sandy, darling, be a doll and get me a sandwich. And this time, I need pickles with cheese and... You get your own sandwich, Mom. Could you add some wafers in there, too? I like when it's crunchy. I like when you're crunchy! No, I'm just kidding. I'm male. I can't make that joke. Yeah, I mean, Miss Miss Everclear, we could tell from the cat background on your computer that you weren't very committed to your job in the first place. Sorry to everyone who has a cat background on their computer. I once did too. I'm just playing. I'm just finding ways to insult this person. But when you leave your job and then you just do nothing, now that is just the worst. There are so many people who choose not to work or do anything productive who are fully like able-bodied people who have like a fully functioning body, no serious mental conditions, and they choose not to work. Meanwhile, there are lots of people with unfortunate physical and mental conditions that literally can't work, and they have to do a lot of sitting around. I know there's a very, I know I'm making a very strange point here. My mind's just in a different, I just, I, this annoys me. It just annoys me. It's like, if you can go to just doing nothing all day, there's no way you were a good principal before. There's no way. Hey, sorry, I'll I'll get into the silly, uh, stinky jokes uh, again now. Sandy, darling, be a doll and get me a sandwich. And this time, I need pickles with cheese and cucumbers. Actually, could you add some wafers in there, too? I like when it's crunchy. And no spice. It gives me diarrhea. Oh, and I don't feel so good today. Do you mind massaging my feet? Why do? You can ask one of the servants to do it for you, Miss Everclear. Yes, but you make the best sandwiches, and your hands are so much softer. Ugh, so annoying. I'll make you I so much softer. I was about this, but he was kidding. happy after so long, and I didn't want to take that away from him. So I turned to Freddie for help. Just stay with her till the end of the school year. Once we're in college, we'll move in together, and everything will be A-OK. -okay. How? All my life, I have lived under my father's thumb, Freddy. And now, this stupid secret is consuming me. I have to talk to my dad before I lose my mind. You can't do that. I won't let you. I don't need your permission. Clearly, clearly, you've never needed anyone's permission for anything. I don't understand the, I was living under my father's thumb, but I did manage to sneak out every single night for months, and my dad had no idea. But trust me, it was like a prison. It was like a prison in there, Freddy. I don't need your permission. Fine, go, ruin everything. You know what, Sandy? This is your problem. You're just too weak-hearted. That's why it was so easy for your dad to control you. You're Look all weak-hearted. I took a stand and fought back, and now I'm getting my private jet. Too bad you think I'm not good enough for you. Go find someone who is and leave me alone. Boom. Before Freddie said You're both terrible, else, so I'm not rooting for either of you. And left. I had decided to tell Dad the truth about how good. we broke up Miss Everclear and her boyfriend and the whole thing about the fire. But when I reached home, I was shocked to see a bunch of police cars in the oh, driveway. No. I who did what? To? And saw Dad talking to some officers. Dad, I I was about to tell you. What did Freddie do? Was I the only one who was blind? That woman fooled me and I couldn't even do anything. How could I be so stupid? Wait, what? Oh no, Dad she stole told from me him. That the reason why we had police come over to our place was because Miss Everclear was actually uh, a con woman who'd been on the run for years. And now they'd arrested her. This morning, 
I went to my study and caught her stealing money from my drawers. I went through the footage on my hidden camera oh. and saw that she'd been stealing from me for a while. Yeah, yeah. I found out that we had three months of footage of her stealing from us, and we just never thought to check. Man, maybe my life would be a lot better if I checked the security cameras that I had. I saw that she'd been stealing from me for a while, so I alerted the police, and they told me they'd been looking for her. Do you know her name is not even ever clear? It's Duh. Gina Sour Cream or Sour Cream or something. I can't believe this. I think I'm just doomed when it comes to love. Or maybe I'm just stupid. Dad broke Aww. down in tears, and I felt a sharp pain in my chest. I sat him down. Yeah, this at this point, just get a dog, you know? Me get a dog. I'm sorry, Dad. I thought if you had someone in your life, you'll be less lonely, and I will finally have my freedom. His loneliness lit quite literally had nothing to do with your decision. So don't act like you're uh, all noble now, Sandy. Don't be acting like you're all norm. Uh, don't be acting like you're all. You had good intentions before. I will not have it. I heard the whole story. Your dad didn't hear the whole thing, but I did. Team Mom Dad. The the dad of the mom. We are now on the team Team Mom Dad. You get you get what I'm saying? You'll be less lonely and I will finally have my freedom. I was selfish and mean and I don't deserve your love. After your mom left, I was just too afraid to lose you too. I word, wanted you around word, me word. all the time. And I guess I forgot. You're a grown lady now, and you have your own life. I'm sorry too. Dad, can we leave the city? I think Whoa. we've both had too many heartbreaks to survive here now. I agree. Dad and I leave the and made city. Up. Freddy tried calling me a million times, but I just ignored him. Instead, I dropped him a text that I was leaving and then switched off my phone. Dad and I booked a late night flight to our hometown in Texas, and we were on our way to the airport when a sports car pulled up and blocked our oh, way. I no. got out. Don't pull out the Draco. Don't pull out the Draco. Everybody hit the deck. Yeah, I don't know if that was an appropriate joke at all. Up, I'm I immediately am sorry when a sports car pulled up and blocked our way I got out and saw Freddy in the driver's seat. What do you think you're doing? I did it I told the police that I was the one behind the fire in that house. Okay, what? Wait, wait, they told me that the real cause of the fire was a short circuit from an open wire. So they asked me uh -huh. to pay a fine for trespassing and let me go. It wasn't our fault, Sandy. And your dad? Um, what did he say? He took away my private jet. But good. that's okay, I'll survive without that. But I can't survive without you. No! If she takes him back, that's it. That's it. We're done here. I don't like any of you. You know what? Maybe they deserve each other. Actually, no. Wait, because in the beginning, it's, it's the mom talking to the dog. Daughter, there's no dad there and she's telling her don't do what I did so she must say no to him she's got to say no to him please say no to him I don't care about uh, either of you but please still he took away my private jet but that's okay I'll survive without that but I can't survive without you please don't go I love you Freddy I love you too but right now I need to figure out my life and for that I need time away from everything my dad needs me now I I can't abandon him. Not after all this was partially my fault. Yep. Will you ever come back? No. I don't know. No. Then I'll wait for you, even if it's forever. Oh, I went with Dad no. to Texas, and I decided I wanted to be a writer. So I wrote for MSA. How could you leave Freddie like that? He loved you so much. I know, but I had to move on. But That's he was life. cringe. You're oh, is the doorbell gonna mom. ring? The doorbell's no, gonna I'm ring. Smart. Prediction time. Okay, okay, I got this. I got this. The doorbell is gonna ring. Oh, I got. Let me let me get that. She opens the door. It's Freddy. Did you miss me, sweetheart? If that happens, I'm out. I'm out. If that happens, I can never make another video again. I I just can't. I I can't. If that happens, I am a monkey's uncle. What? That's life. You're heartless, Mom. Nope, I'm smart. If I wouldn't have left Freddy, he wouldn't have realized his mistakes, and I would have never married him. Wait, what? Freddy is dad, but his name is James. So I changed a few names. Big deal. But I hope you get the point of the story. I do. And I promise you that one day, Charlie will learn his lesson too. Until then, let me make my own stories, Mom. What? So this was a waste? Not entirely. I know my mom a lot better now.
how did you tell this whole story about your dad and this never came up? Your entire life, your parents never mentioned how they met, ever. At no point in time was there ever a story from how they met, never. Really, really? She was just waiting for that perfect moment to tell the story of literally everything. The story that led to her existence. All right, I honestly, maybe I'm just butthurt that I'm wrong, <laughs> that I was wrong, but I, I feel gypped. I feel gypped that we didn't get the ending that I predicted. That would have been the goofiest thing ever. Yeah, guys, maybe I just wanted to be right. I don't know. That video, that story lived up to the theme song. A girl who's gone completely insane. That lived up to our theme song. And people, I give that story a goofy out of 10. And people, if you aren't done here, here is the whole playlist of MSA videos we have done. If you have not seen all of the other MSA videos, you have a watch party to attend or do yourself or whatever. Here's MSA's channel. Make sure you're subscribed to them. Their link is also in the description. Click here and support the actual creators. And here is a video that YouTube thinks you will like. Homies, I will see you soon. Keep on rocking in the free world and do 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 do.